Thank you for joining us. Nadine Woodward, our mayor-elect for Spokane. Thank you Thank for making you. the time. First yeah. of all, I want to know, this is now a few days after the election. How are you feeling? Oh, my gosh. Not even 48 hours, really. <laughs> uh, good. It's, it's finally uh, hitting me, I think. So first of all, during your acceptance speech, you talked about a lot of uh, fixing a lot of issues with Spokane, including including homelessness. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to ask, in your view, what does fixing Spokane's homeless problem mean? Well, it's addressing the issue in a way that um, being realistic and knowing that we're not going to solve homelessness, but we have to do a better job of managing it. And that means we have to start looking at ways that we can reduce the number of our homeless. So in a nutshell, kind of reducing that homelessness uh, to address that, you'd like to see them moved into housing and enrolled in services? Well, I want to get them treatment first, because if they can't have a job, they're not going to be, be able to pay for housing. What's the first thing you would want to do to address homelessness in Spokane? Well, actually, the first thing I want to do, Amanda, address is a public safety issue, and that was my number one priority. And so that is to relocate a police precinct back into the core of downtown. It was moved four years ago to the intermodal station, which is kind of on the outskirts. But um, I want to move that precinct back to the downtown core. I want officers on foot patrol. I want them engaged with our business owners, people who work downtown, people who visit downtown. I want to make downtown safe and comfortable again. The council president race has been very close. Yeah. So since we haven't, it hasn't been called yet, how do you foresee working with Cindy Wendell versus uh, Brian Biggs? Well, Cindy Wendell and I align a lot with what we want to do, what our goals are. And, and I think for the most part, how we would address those. Um, so I think she and I would have a very good working relationship. But if it's Brian as well, I, I plan to work, have a great working relationship with him too. I mean, I, I don't think we agree with everything, but I think, you know, Brian's a realistic guy. I think he is very civil and I think we would have a, a good working relationship. Well, thank you so much thank for you, making Amanda. the time to chat with us. You and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.